Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. Recently I was busy building a ChatGPT plugin called Receipt Assistant. And the idea of this plugin is to allow user to upload the uh, receipt file. And then uh, we sent uh, this receipt file to uh, OCR service, uh, which is part of the plugin. And we get back the uh, text which was extracted uh, by OCR and pass this array of text to uh, ChatGPT and we let ChatGPT to do key value pair mapping and assign and group the data from, from the receipt and uh, basically we get uh, JSON uh, structure with key value pairs and then we uh, provide some functionality for the user to save this data uh, not on, uh, for the session duration but for longer uh, data will be stored in a, uh, in a uh, plugin backend in a MongoDB and this data will be available in the next session as well and we allow later to fetch this uh, saved data and we allow to uh, fetch the list of the uh, of the receipts, list of the IDs uh, which uh, which was stored in database. Then we allow to remove the receipt by ID or multiple receipts, and user can fetch the data and analyze the data, compare the data, ask ChatGPT to provide additional context data about the receipts, do calculations, and so on. And with them. Uh, once we have this data, we can use uh, other uh, plugins available in ChatGPT to visualize the uh, cost of um, uh, transactions and so on and so on, so different uh, things. So in this video, I'll focus on ChatGPT. I'll not talk about the technical part, uh, and this I'll be talking in the next video, next week. Uh, so what I'll do in this video, I, uh, I will show you example of how you could uh, interact with our receipt assistant plugin from ChatGPT. And by the way, this plugin runs on a local host. Uh, it's not yet published as official ChatGPT plugin, but this will be done in the future quite soon. So let's uh, jump to my desktop. And this is the uh, GPT-4. I enable plugins and I enable receipt assistant. So first thing I could ask, I could say, Hi, I want uh, to upload and review, say, received data. And now ChatGPT, for this request, it uh, understands, based on uh, plugin metadata, it understands that it should um, ask uh, plugin what um, we should, what we're supposed to do now. And the answer from the plugin is for this request, uh, please go to this external application, which also part of the plugin and upload uh, the file there. So we go to the application and here we can um, browse files and uh, I'll select this one, uh, this receipt and click upload. So now uh, the file is being uploaded and sent to the uh, backend uh, plugin service which does OCR and as a result we'll get a key uh, uh, because this file uh, data which uh, uh, the text data result of the OCR it will be uh, temporarily stored for the 15 minutes in the backend and if the user will not fetch this data then it will be auto removed otherwise when as soon as user is copy pasting the key uh, to chat GPT then this data is being removed uh, from this uh, temporary storage and later user can uh, store the outcome of the chat GPT this JSON data with key value pairs uh, as a person pers in the persistent storage uh, okay so I could say that uh, uploaded file ID is this one and I would like to say that uh, I want uh, to review the data before storing it. Okay. Okay, so we copy pasted the ID and now uh, based on metadata again defined by um, plugin, we inform um, ChatGPT uh, to fetch using that ID to fetch the array of data. And fetch happens successfully and here we get the data from, from the received uh, text data. So we get uh, like total uh, amount and uh, we should also get 
date and time. Uh, and this seems correct, fine. And now we can say that uh, we would like to, um, let's say that uh, I would like to store this data. So I want uh, to store this uh, data for later. Uh, if key value pair mapping. And now uh, ChatGPT executes a request to uh, with all this data that uh, from the receipt, and it, it uh, converts uh, uh, data uh, into the certain JSON structure, and it will call the service to uh, store receipt data. And by the way, if we go to um, okay, if we go to uh, backend service Sparrow data this one we here and if we maximize this a bit we see that uh, in the backend service log we see that data was stored successfully so uh, this means execution was correct and now i'll say that uh, okay let's uh, do one more thing and uh, let's uh, upload one more file one more receipt and here we could go directly actually to the application and uh, without following the link and this time let's upload uh, Whole Foods, received from the Whole Foods and click upload. Now again, the same thing, uh, received is uploaded and OCR is applied to, uh, to extract the data. And then we would get the key. And we would paste this key uh, to chat GPT. Okay, so this is the key and let's see how it will work this time this time i'll say that this is the key and i'll not say that i would like to review the data here's the id and now we're fetching um, raw text data and we we actually got getting information out of the box uh, uh, structured information with key value pairs. Um, so ChatGPT now understands that they got the data and we want to, to see key value, value pairs even without asking it like we did in the first time. Okay, so we got correct data here, fine. And I'll say that let's uh, store this data uh, as, as well. Okay, uh, data is being stored. Okay, we can close that. And if I go to this window, clean it up. And as soon as the request is being uh, prepared uh, by ChatGPT, then the request will be executed through the plugin to the backend. And the backend will store uh, this data in uh, MongoDB. And all the information related to the receipt, private information, is encrypted uh, out of the box by the backend and it's stored encrypted um, uh, in a database so no one can read uh, the information because it's just being encrypted. Okay, so we got that. So now we have two, uh, two we have two receipts uh, stored in the database and now we can say, okay, please uh, uh, show IDs of uh, currently stored uh, receipts now uh, another call is uh, is going through the receipt assistant and we get the both ids that were uh, stored in database so this is the request and this is the response for the current user so it's also users we get um, uh, authentication information out of the box from 
ChatGPT, and right now because this plugin runs on localhost, so it uh, it always comes uh, authentication information comes as user, but as soon as this uh, plugin would be deployed, then a real username would be coming, and we can uh, save in a database uh, receipts uh, based on the specific user who is working right now with ChatGPT. Um, Okay, now I'll say that, uh, let's mention that uh, I come in next day and I open a new session and I could, what I could ask, I'll say like, please uh, uh, show IDs of, uh, no, this was the already what I did now and now I'll say that I would like to load and Uh, review content of all uh, stored receipts. So for that, there is another endpoint which uh, uh, fetching all the receipts data on the backend and returns a single JSON. And we can, if we open that, we can see this is the single JSON and the JSON contains uh, all the receipts data that is stored in the database. And but why this is useful, uh, if you would come tomorrow in the next session, then uh, you would like to load the receipts that you was working before, you just load them with the single call. So we got receipt one and receipt two. Fine. And now as we have the data loaded, we can play with this data. And for example, I say I could say that I'm interested uh, in a number. Uh, of total uh, purchased uh, items per each. We can aggregate the data, for example, uh, received uh, the transaction date and uh, total paid amount for each receipt. Uh, please uh, provide this info. We get this request and now ChatGPT works through the data uh, and uh, for the first receipt it says that there are four purchase items, then this is transaction date, then this is the total and for another one free and this is the date. And then I could say what is total amount spent per uh, all receipts. and. Uh, now ChatGPT automatically can look into the both receipts and uh, make a total, um, so it make can do, can do the calculations for you as well. And we can specifically we can refer uh, per receipt ID. We can say we can say like, uh, um, uh, could you fetch uh, receipt uh, data again? And in this case, it will make a call to the backend to fetch receipt uh, data by ID. So we get we execute the, the API call, get receipt data for key, right? And then this, we, we get this uh, is data is being printed. And at the end, at the end, when you don't want to play anymore with the application, with this plugin, or you want to uh, remove all the receipts and or, or and load the new ones, you can either remove all, or you can remove uh, one by one by key. So I can say, for example, okay, I'm done. Uh, let's uh, clear all stored data. Thanks. And now, as soon as I execute. Uh, this request, let's clean clean up the log. Let's come here and uh, what I, I should see that in this case uh, there is no endpoint to execute all uh, receipts at once, but uh, uh, there is the uh, endpoint which allows to uh, delete uh, a specific receipt by ID, and uh, ChatGPT is smart enough to use this endpoint uh, multiple times for each receipt using the ID and uh, remove remove IDs in this way. So it actually did just like uh, exactly the, uh, this thing. So it deleted first receipt and it deleted, deleted the second one. Okay, so let's uh, 
uh, let's summarize. So what I was trying to show you is uh, uh, actually how uh, ChatGPT works with our Receipt Assistant plugin. And uh, this plugin provides uh, uh, storage uh, functionality so you can store the receipts and uh, uh, you can load the receipts in a new session. Then you could uh, load uh, data of the receipts. Then you can delete receipts, fetch receipt by ID. Uh, and then you can play, do whatever you want with this uh, data in chat GPT session, ask questions about it, merge data, visualize data and so on. And the key benefit of the plugin, I think, is uh, this persistent storage that uh, helps to store uh, in a secure way, in an encrypted way, your data, uh, which you could use in uh, different sessions. Also, this OCR functionality uh, that returns data which uh, from the Paddle OCR and uh, ChatGPT can understand this data and group data in a proper way. And also, there's a file upload, obviously, functionality that um, helps to upload the data and uh, uh, file uh, which uh, is being uploaded. And if it's not, in, in case it's not being used, then this file is auto-removed. So, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.